I got this commercial class dehumidifier that I plan on using in my shop. Let's take it out of the box and check it out. And this is everything out of the box. So this is the main unit right here. It comes with a manual and two size hoses and a pretty decently long power cord. So on this side of the unit, you've got the control panel here where you set all the settings. You got a really large output here and ports over here to expand it. You got the specification sticker here, the model and everything on it. This is the Sentinel HD 35P. And then here is the filter where the air goes in and it is removable and easy to clean. All right, so I've got this plugged in. When I turn this on, the relative humidity that this was detecting was 82 and it's already dropped down to 76. So here is some of the setup. Of course, you gotta plug it in. You've got your control panel here, which is explained very well in the manual, but we'll go through some of that. You've got two drain areas. This is the pump drain, and that's what the thinner hose is for. So this is actually gonna be pumping water out of this system as it collects inside, and it's gonna push it to wherever this hose is ran to. I'm not gonna need this because I'm gonna have it setting in a place where gravity is gonna be fine and it has that so the other hose that it came with is for its gravity setup here basically there's a tray in the bottom of here where this hose is connected to and as that tray fills up the water is just going to slowly start coming out of this hose and i just have it right now to test with in this bucket when the hose is not on it it has this little plug that you put in the outlet here you might not be lugging it around very much but it does have this handle on the top to make it very easy to carry and move around so this is the input of the air and you can feel it pulling that air through quite well i'm gonna go ahead and put the filter back on when you put it on it's very simple you just push the top up and then slide it back down this what this tab is for so you can lift this out and wash it it's going to come out the exhaust side here which has a really nice amount of air coming out right now and as you can see, now the water's already starting to build up and come out. We've got a couple dehumidifiers in the house that are just room units. They're louder than this, and this is a way more heavy duty unit than those are. So for me, this is really quiet for a commercial size dehumidifier. All right, so some of the features are, it's got this GPP mode, which is basically the different modes that it will detect humidity in. There is GPP mode, and then there is relative humidity mode. So right now it's down to 71% relative humidity. And when you go to the set button, you can come in here and set what you want this unit to get to before it turns off. So I have it set at 25, you could go to 30, 35, all the way up to 80, and then it goes to CO, which is continuous. Of course, on and off, this lets you switch between the type of drains. Right now I have it on gravity drain, but if you wanted to turn the pump drain on, you could press this button and now the pump's gonna run to try to drain out any water that's there. I'm gonna turn that off so it goes back to gravity drain. And as you hear the pump turned off, and that's basically it. Very simple design, does what it needs to do without all the extra complications and confusion. It's already pulled out a decent amount of water there in the bucket, and it's only been running for just a short period of time. And, you know, if you see, I don't have it at a really great slope, but, there's water even building up in the hose. So this definitely is gonna pull out a lot of water. It's quiet. It pulls the water out of the air well. I can already feel it getting more comfortable in this garage. I think it's gonna do exactly what I intended it to do and pretty well. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.